As the second set of riders got underway in front of a full house of 8,000 spectators, it was Germany's Matthias Alexander Rath and Sturtaler Unicef who set the new target. in the corner sort of circle there. Yes, it, it was almost, the transitions weren't quite clear with the music though. Uh, it, was, it was elegant. Um, nice half passes. But the music does suit this type of horse. Struggling here, Judy, but in the Piaf, look, Lucky sees his legs asking the horse the Piaf more, but uh, rather a reluctant Piaf there. Yes, he'd almost got his weight uh, onto the wrong part of his body, the horse, hadn't he, into that, and couldn't quite cope to sit and really Piaf with elegance. But most of the other stuff is pretty elegant. <laughs> Track. But look at those reins, Judy. They're rather like washing lines there. And we saw earlier how the horses stretched their necks and the riders kept the contact. Yes, that uh, is a slightly false contact. And that uh, what the judges look to see in the extended walk is the horse takes the rein forward and maintains a very light contact, but it is still a contact. Um, if the horse is reluctant to take the hand forward, though, then the riders are often tempted to give the rein away in order to encourage them to go forward to the rein but it's not quite what we want to see. Matthias won the German championships, freestyle championships, to get himself on this team, but I get a feeling with those that Piaf really lacking commitment. There was a mistake at the end of the extended counter, Judy, where before the pirouettes, pirouettes were a bit scrappy. What do you think? Well, I think the general picture is that it's lovely and elegant and light, and the music really suits this type of horse, and he's riding now very well to the music. And you can see where a good win is capable with this program, but with these little mistakes creeping in, it's not quite going to get there in, in the medals tonight. As the amateur here watching with you, the professionals, he just gives me the impression of not really being brave enough to go for it. It's what we call the technical expression coming here, Mike. The horse is not in front of his leg. And um, so the engine really isn't in underneath the horse and, and producing the energy needed for these movements.
See, the horse has a lovely extended trot. Look at that, one-handed to finish. So lovely extended trot. So in the forward movements, the horse has lots of energy, but in the collected work, the horse needed in that performance a, a, a little bit more energy to produce really good technical marks for some important movements. 77 then, 0.850, so he goes into the lead. So, uh, interesting, uh, perhaps the judges see it a different way to us. Now, of course, the test we're all holding our breath for, Laura Beckelstiver, she really has uh, ridden out of her skin here, riding her parents, Wilfred and Ursula Beckelsteimer's wonderful uh, Danish bred horse, Mistral Horis. We've been uh, privileged to witness some superb horses here, and this is as good as any of them in many respects, Richard. Fabulous uh, horse. He, he is one of the best horses in the world, and he's proved that, and Laura has done a great job. They've had him for five years. He wasn't at Grand Prix competition level when they bought him, they've developed him. My suggestion is that we uh, we just sort of sit back and enjoy the music here um, and, and let, you know, just really enjoy it. I, I mean, I'm not even suggesting that, Mike, for the viewer's sake. I'm not, I'm not sure that my heart will stand too much commentary <laughs> here right now. Well, she certainly showed that she was capable of uh, producing some great efforts in her first Olympic Games in Hong Kong. She's learned from that. She's shown that here. Can she now get Britain into a medal position in this freestyle, the freestyle championship? Holding your breath, Richard. I'm very much holding my breath because it's been a fantastic start. But did you notice in the pack the horse was just ducking his head a little bit, and that's just a bit of a sign of boiling over. And of course, the music, the sound of the music, is not great for this horse, who's a very electric horse. But a superb start and great ideas to use those trot half pass to really get him on the aids and extended trot to get it, the steam out of him. And I think we're part, probably past the difficult area. I'm starting to breathe again now, Judy. Well, hopefully you should be able to relax him in this walk. They have been together for a long time, these two, and they adore each other. So if, if anyone can restore him, it'd be Laura.
a relief to get the flying changes over with this horse. And they were all correct. mistake there at the beginning of the one times. That was a good decision there to repeat those one times. The 24 year old uh, young lady Laura Bettelstammer won the first ever bronze medal individually for Britain in the Grand Prix special. That was outstanding. Has she done enough to possibly win a medal tonight, Richard? We've got 81, 81.750, and that is a great score.